Hi, welcome back to After Service. And for this video, we're going to answer the question, how much does it cost to study respiratory therapy in the Philippines? So remember, BSRT is a four-year degree program for senior high school graduates who wish to pursue RT. The most recommended track is the STEM under the academic track. Although there are some schools that have further specializations for healthcare sciences. So please make sure of this before you enroll in respiratory therapy. So let's go to the tuition fee cost for BSRT. Now majority of RT schools in the Philippines are private schools. I only know one state university or state college. According to finduniversity.ph, there's only one state university that offers BSRT and this is Cagayan State University. Actually, the only state university for RT is currently the number one RT school in the Philippines in terms of board performance and other factors such as uh, teacher-student ratio, accreditation, and facilities. Okay, so for tuition fee, uh, remember that there are 161 units in the BSRT curriculum. So our computation would be how much does it cost for every unit? Unit or per unit and in my research the the cheapest in terms of tuition fee cost per unit is 800 pesos per unit and the most expensive is 1600 pesos per unit with the average of 1200 pesos per unit so if you're going to multiply it with the total number of units in RT um, that is 161 800 multiplied by 161 is 128,800 pesos so this is the cheapest and the most expensive is 257,600 pesos. Remember also that in the Philippines, state universities and state colleges do not charge tuition fee. So if you decide to enroll in Cagayan State University, your tuition fee is free. In the Philippines, most schools offer um, tuition fee discounts to deans, listers, or those students who acquire a general weighted average at least, um, I think, 87%. For my school, it was 87%. So if you achieve a certain general weighted average, they they give they give um, corresponding discounts, such as for example, free tuition fee for that semester, or half a tuition fee, or a certain percentage, like 20%. So if you want to save some money, I advise you to do your best and get this uh, tuition fee discount. One more thing, most Philippine schools offer tuition fee discounts, sometimes even 100% free tuition fee for students who graduated high school with high honors. Like for example, you graduated as valedictorian, salutatorian. So on average, the tuition fee cost for respiratory therapy is between 128,800 pesos to 257,600 pesos. This is, of course, with the assumption that you did not avail a tuition fee discount program or you're not under a scholarship program. Next is miscellaneous fee. So in the Philippines, colleges charge miscellaneous fee for other services of the school, which includes the laboratory fee, medical and dental fee, um, library and computer fee, guidance and counseling, ID, publication, research and extension, and other fees which are in addition to your tuition fees. So the miscellaneous fee is often paid every semester and it ranges between 8,000 to 20,000 pesos per semester depending on your school. So if we multiply, so if we multiply this uh, per semester miscellaneous fee with eight semesters, then we have a range of 64,000 pesos to 160,000 pesos just for miscellaneous fee alone. Take note, I did not include in the miscellaneous fee the affiliation fee because this is a separate fee. It is very very rare that a school would offer discount on miscellaneous fee. The only way that you can get free miscellaneous fee is if you're a scholar of a private um, organization or a government um, agency. The miscellaneous fee is generally cheaper than the tuition fee. Okay, next we're going to talk about the affiliation fee. Most schools are affiliated with uh, their base hospitals and other special hospitals. In order for you to be allowed to practice in that institution, your school pays what we call an affiliation fee. This affiliation fee is only paid um, on the last two semesters of BSRT. So meaning this is only paid by fourth years, which are the intern. On average, the affiliation fee costs about 30,000 per semester to 50,000 per semester. 
semester. So considering there are two semesters, then expect to pay around 60,000 pesos to 100,000 pesos for your affiliation fee. So again, just like your miscellaneous, there are no discounts for affiliation fee. This is fixed regardless of your socioeconomic status or your academic performance. So next is your book allowance or your textbooks in RT. I'm not going to include the textbooks in your general education subjects. So I'm only referring to healthcare and RT subjects alone. Unlike in nursing, most textbooks in RT are not readily available in the Philippines. So you cannot you cannot easily find them in Philippine bookstores. One way to acquire them is to borrow perhaps from an older IT or for someone who graduated RT. Or if you're the type of student who prefers brand new books, you can purchase textbooks online like in Amazon. So I will post a separate video discussing the RT textbooks or RT books that I recommend for you to study for your RT degree. So if you don't mind buying used textbooks or old or old textbooks, then prepare to spend about 23,350 pesos. But if you prefer brand new books, you might spend you might spend 50,000 pesos for your books. So it might seem a little bit expensive, but I assure you that you can use these textbooks during your review program or even after you graduate or even after the licensure exam because every now and then you're going to scan your books to review topics especially in mechanical ventilation and other critical care procedures. So if we're going to add the cost of general education textbooks, uh, let's say it's around 5,000 pesos. Since most general education textbooks can be purchased in the Philippines or can be bought in Philippine bookstores, the general cost for textbooks is between 28,000 pesos to 55,000 pesos. Now, next we go to uniform and paraphernalia. So for BSRT, since this is a healthcare degree program, most Philippine schools require students to wear a clinical uniform or a white uniform so if you don't mind doing the laundry very often so two sets of white uniform should suffice for you but if you're like me who hates doing laundry I recommend having four sets of gala or white uniform and on average this white uniform would cost you about uh, 700 pesos to 900 pesos per set the white uniform if you have them made uh, it can last a couple of years if you're careful you can use it on the entire four years of your study well be mindful of your body weight because if you gain a lot of weight then your uniform when you were in first year might not fit you once you reach fourth year and again this gala or white uniform can be used during your internship another set of uniform that you should prepare is your scrubs so in the Philippines you can buy ready-to-wear scrub suits uh, which could range from um, 500 pesos to 1,000 pesos per set depending on the brand of course unknown brands would be cheaper than known brands since you're a student I don't really expect you to buy high-end scrub suits like Cherokee scrubs or Dickies scrub you can buy these scrub suits later on once you graduate or once you start working if you don't mind doing laundry often then two sets of scrubs will be enough but as I've said if you're like me uh, back in college I bought I bought four sets of scrubs um, I was also considering during the rainy season it is difficult it is difficult for your clothes or for your laundry to get dry so think of that another part of your uniform is your lab gown you can buy a lab gown from 150 pesos to 500 pesos the lab gown will be used during your practicums your return demonstrations or if you're affiliated with a hospital with super cool air conditioning units or super cool centralized air con air conditioning And another thing to buy as your paraphernalia is a good stethoscope, a good working stethoscope. But during your return demonstrations, you are practicing on a mannequin, you'll be using a stethoscope to demonstrate your physical assessment or your assessment skills. If you are going to make your case study or case or case presentation, uh, the stethoscope will be needed for auscultation. The stethoscopes can be bought at a range of 500 pesos to 3,500 pesos. If you prefer a Litman um, stethoscope, the cheap the cheapest model costs about 3,500 pesos. Well, I don't really expect a student to purchase the cardiac stethoscope. It's actually impractical for you to buy one. The master stethoscope for Litman would suffice for bedside assessment. And finally, let's talk about dorm fee or your boarding house fee. In the Philippines, there aren't really many boarding schools. So what students do is they rent an apartment, what we call boarding houses, 
near the school. Um, the cost for accommodation or for dormitories depends on its location. So generally outside Metro Manila, the cost is cheaper. You can find a boarding house that would cost you about 2,000 pesos to 4,000 pesos per month. There's no guarantee though that you'll be alone in the room. You might share, you might share the room with other students. Based on my experience within Metro Manila, the boarding houses would may cost between 7,000 to 15,000 pesos depending on the location of the boarding house, if it has air conditioning unit or if it has Wi-Fi, if it is within a subdivision. So those are things that you need to consider. So finally, dormitories in the Philippines might cost you between 2,000 pesos to 15,000 pesos per month. I'm only talking about dormitories once you are in your internship proper. So your internship proper, so the internship in RT lasts for about 10 months. So if you multiply the cost of dormitory to 10, then we arrive with a range of 20,000 pesos to 150,000 pesos just for your accommodation during your internship. Now, finally, if we are going to compute for the total cost of studying respiratory therapy in the Philippines, so if we're going to add all the expenses from tuition fee to dormitories, then we will arrive at a total of 302,650 pesos to 728,900 pesos. This of course doesn't include other expenses like transportation and meal allowance. For example, you might live near the school so you don't need to pay for transport to just to walk to school anyway. So it, as far as I know, walking is free. This doesn't also include other school fees that are paid during events like foundation day, intramurals, acquaintance parties, graduation ball, graduation fee. So these are other expenses that you might consider. What I can say is RT is one of the cheapest healthcare programs in the Philippines. Now, I will be creating a separate video to discuss the books that I recommend for you to use in your study. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell for the latest updates. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you decide or has helped you prepare for the RT program and see you on the next lesson.